Hey, my name's Kyle Rasmussen. I am the driver and uh, co-owner of the two 38 cars, one in the 305 Race Saver class and one in the 360 class. Um, be racing, we'll be racing tonight at Tulare Thunder Bowl, um, obviously in Tulare, California. And uh, as you can hear, my crew is getting everything kind of loaded up and ready to rock for today. How many times have you raced it before? If you have, how, how's your experience on that track? Yeah, Tulare, um, it's definitely one of my favorites. Um, even the first time doing it, um, it can be scary for guys. There's quite a big wall and uh, it is a fast three eighths mile. But um, yeah, it's kind of a home track. Tulare and Hanford, definitely the closest ones to us here in Clovis. Um, run it quite often. I think we've had about eight races there this season. So definitely have time on the track um, and I am used to it, but some days it is a good track, some days it's a bad track. Um, you know, you can crash a car, you could win the race. So, um, but we enjoy it and hopefully we get a win tonight. So how'd you start getting racing wing sprint cars? So I got started racing sprint cars and uh, outlaw carts before this and uh, just kind of fun go-karts in the backyard. My dad, Rusty Rasmussen, he raced um, kind of a handful of things. He ran micros, um, midgets, sprint cars, uh, a few champ cars here and there. Um, and, and he ran back in his day. He was probably, mm, he started earlier than me. I'm 28. I think I started when I was about 23 or 24. But um, he ran and, and raced for a, a good amount of years. And um, when he my sister was born, I think he ran about two years and then he, he retired. Um, I started late because I played baseball through high school and through college and, and pursued that. And when baseball, uh, my career ended, um, I turned to racing. And our, our storage shop that once was a race shop has now uh, turned back into a race shop. And uh, it is definitely a family affair. Um, and we just really enjoy it. How's the year been so far for you? How many races have you done? How how the outcomes have been? Uh, I think we have ran six, maybe seven races this season. Uh, two wins on the season. And I think we have three top five, uh, top threes. And then one did not finish because we wrecked. Um, but we've had a pretty good season. Definitely being on the podium each night um, is good. Good momentum. Uh, you know you have a good car, you're just a little off, or another team was a little better than you that night. Um, but this season seems to be going well, and hopefully it, it ends as good as last year being the series champion and the state champion. Any type of races that stick out to you? Like, What's your most memorable races and why? I think definitely two, for sure. Uh, my first win in a, in a wing, wing sprint car was at Santa Maria. Um, and I think that was in looking at... The, boards 2018 so that was definitely a, a memorable one a lot of family came down obviously it's on the coast so it's nice and it's nice weather it's you know just a good environment to be in but um, getting a win there with everybody was really awesome and then uh, we actually took a trip down down back to Nebraska for um, the 305 Nationals um, I think there was about 104 cars entered and we ended up luckily um, in the A main or the, the, you know, the big, big show. And we finished 15th out of 27 cars. So I would say for, for a California crew going all that way, um, those would probably be my, my top two. Nice. Yeah, nice. All the way to Nebraska. That's far. That is far. Or what was a big crash you had that you was memorable for you? The most recent crash was this year. Um, I was running second, I believe it was actually at Tulare. Um, there you go but you gotta get up back on the horse one day. So, um, but yeah, we're running second, we got back into lap traffic and um, it's it's half my fault and it's half his fault. I was on the track and so was he, but I ran over um, his right rear tire and um, got into the wall, didn't flip or anything, but definitely hurt the car enough to uh, not be able to continue. Um, but yeah, crashes happen. It's part of it. Um, it it's it's not if, it's when. Um, sometimes you get lucky, but um, you know it's part of the the sport. Um, a lot of safety equipment has come a long way with you know um, your 
fire suits and your helmets and your your neck you know your Hans devices and um, everything to keep a driver safe and and be able to crawl out of the car after a pretty good spill um, you know it just kind of calms those nerves of the driver and fans and family and you know wives and everybody else what's your favorite thing about racing so far honestly the more I do it um, the most my most favorite thing is just having family having my dad and my grandpa um, you know everybody else that comes to the track and supports us everyone there it's definitely um, you know it's family but it's even a, a tighter knit circle um, you make friends at the track that you would have never met you would have never seen um, and they turn into family they'll come and help you even though they're competitors and you're fighting each other on the track they'll come and help you you know in your pit if you need any parts or any um, you know any hands on the car um, but but yeah driving the car um, as soon as that engine fires everything else seems to drown away and it's just you it's just you um, you in the car so um, it's kind of a out-of-body experience I guess you could say but it's definitely a good time there you go nice I haven't had anyone ever say that that's that's a good little uh, insight on there have a I guess the inside of a driver's mind yeah I mean you could have you could have the worst day um, at work or, or during the weekend or whatever and you could think about it going coming up to the races um, you know um, as soon as but as soon as that engine fires you're not thinking about that anymore you're you're thinking about um, you know where's the line I'm gonna run or um, is the car too tight is it gonna take off is all these things are flicking through your mind of I have to be the best I can because if your car is good and your car is set up the driver is the weakest part of the car Kyle Rasmussen we will be running um, a 305 wing sprint car if you're a fan if you're not a fan if you have no idea what a sprint car is uh, I'd highly advise you to come on out um, good times loud cars usually pretty good tacos um, so uh, bring your family or yourself and and come and enjoy and then I believe our next race will be in Bakersfield on June 4th um, so if you're down down south a little bit come on out to Bakersfield and uh, see some sprint cars and I believe some different classes of uh, race cars